Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals. In this chapter, we are going to start with the second exercise. Before that, we will be doing some introduction portion of quadrilaterals. First, first of all, what is quadrilateral? So, quadrilateral is a polygon of four sides, four line segments. Here we can consider this figure as a quadrilateral as it is having four. Now the angles which is just beside to each other are known as the adjacent angles. We can take this, this, this one and this one, this and this one or we can take these two. They all are adjacent angles. Now the opposite angles, this angle is opposite to this angle and this angle is opposite to this one. Then we have opposite sides. This side is opposite to this one and this side is opposite to this one. And also we have the adjacent sides. So this side is adjacent to this one. This is adjacent to this. This side is adjacent to this one and this side is adjacent to this one. Now on the basis of the sides and arrangement of the angles, we are having three different type of quadrilaterals. They are parallelogram, trapezium and kite. So the kinds of quadrilateral we have are parallelogram, trapezium and kite. The parallelogram is a figure in which both the opposite sides are parallel to each other. In the case of trapezium, we are having only one pair of opposite side as parallel. And in the case of kite, there is no parallel sides, but two adjacent sides are of equal length. Now here we have a parallelogram, a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel to each other. Then the properties of parallelogram, both pair of opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are of equal measure, diagonals bisect each other and adjacent angles of the parallelogram are supplement to each other. Now let's start with exercise 13.2 and do question number one here. In this question, we are having a parallelogram A, B, C, D in which A, B is being given as 9 centimeter, B, C is 6 centimeter, then the diagonals part D, O is being 5 centimeter and A, O equals to 7 centimeter. And this angle A, B, C is given as 120 degree. Now we have to find A, D. This A, D will be equals to the side B, C as the opposite sides of parallelogram. So this one is 6 centimeter. Then we have to find D, C. DC will be equals to 9 centimeter at the opposite sides of parallelogram. So we get 9 centimeter over here. Then angle DCB, DCB. As we all know that the adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplement to each other. So this will be equals to 180 degree minus 120. So that is equals to 60 degree as the measure of angle DCB. Then we have angle ADC, ADC. So this angle is opposite to this one and we know in parallelogram opposite angles are of equal measure. So this is 120 degree. Then angle DAB, DAB will be equals to angle DCB as they both are opposite to each other and angle DCB we have just calculated as 60 degree. Then OC, this OC will be equals to AO as the diagonals of the parallelogram bisects each other. So we get 7 centimeter as the value of OC. Now we have angle DAB plus CDA. So DAB and CDA, these two angles. And as we know in parallelogram, adjacent angles are supplement to each other. So this will be of 180 degree as answer. Now let's do question number two, first part. Here we are having a parallelogram in which we have to find the values of X, Y, and Z. And we are being given with this value as 120 degree. Let's name this one as A, B, C, D and E. Now we know that this 120 and Y are corresponding angles for the parallelogram as the opposite sides are parallel to each other. So Y equals to 120 degree as corresponding angles. So here we get Y equals to 120 degree as corresponding angles. Then the Y and X are adjacent angles of parallelogram. So the sum of these two will be 180 degree. Therefore, x plus y equals to 180 degree as adjacent angles of parallelogram. Now we can place the value of y as 120. So here we get x plus 120 equals to 180 degree. So x equals to 180 degree minus 120 degree. So x equals to 60 degree. Then we are having z and this z will be equals to y as opposite angles of a parallelogram. So here z equals to y as opposite angles of parallelogram. That is z equals to y that is 120 degree as 
answer. Now let's move to the second part of this question. Here we are having a parallelogram. Let's name this one as A, B, C, D. And here the intersection of diagonals as O. Now we have to find the value of X, Y and Z. Now very first of all we can find the value of Z that is equals to 40 by interior alternate angles as this side is parallel to this one. So here Z equals to 40 degree as the interior alternate angle. Also in this triangle this is an exterior angle and the two interior opposite angles are Z and Y. So the sum of Z and Y will be equals to 100. So here in triangle COB we have angle COD equals to angle OCB plus angle OBC that is equals to 100 equals to OCB that is Z and OBC that is Y. Now we can place the value of Z over here and therefore this will be 100 equals to 40 plus Y that implies Y equals to 100 minus 40. Therefore Y will be equals to 60 degree as answer. After this we have to find the value of X for that we need this angle. Now this angle will be equal to this one as interior alternate angle. This one is parallel to this. So angle OCD equals to angle OAB as interior alternate angles. Therefore we have angle OCD equals to angle OAB by interior alternate angle that is equals to 30 degree. Now in triangle COD with the help of this angle and this angle we can find the value of X using the angle sum property of triangle. So here we get angle COD plus OCD plus ODC equals to 180 degree. Now we know the value of COD as 100 degree, OCD as 30 degree and ODC as X to 180 degree. X equals to 180 degree minus 130 and this will be equals to 50 degree as answer. Now we move to the third part of this question. Here again we are having a parallelogram in which we have to find the value of x, y and z. Very first of all let's name it a, b, c and d. Now here y will be equal to 120 degree as the opposite angles of a parallelogram. After getting y equals to 120 degree with the help of this y in this triangle we can find the value of x by using angle sum property of triangle. And here we get in triangle ADC x plus y plus 35 equals to 180 degree as angles and property of triangle. Now we can place the value of y over here. So it will be x plus 120 plus 35 degree equals to 180 degree. So x equals to 180 degree minus 155. So x equals to 25 degree as the value of x. Then we see that Z is equals to X as interior alternate angles. This, this side is parallel to this one and this is also parallel to this one as opposite sides of parallelogram. So this Z will be equals to X by interior alternate angles and hence Z equals to X and we get the value of X as 25. So Z will also 25 degree as answer. Now let's move to the fourth part of the question number two. Here again we have a parallelogram and in this one we have to find the value of x, y and z. We have been given with the 67 degree as this one and 70 degree as this one. Let's name this one a, b, c, d and e. Then we can see that z and 70 they both are opposite angles of a parallelogram, so they will be equal. Here we get z equals to 70 degree as opposite angles of parallelogram. Then we know that adjacent angles of parallelogram are supplementary to each other. So the sum of CDA and BAD will be 180 degree. So here we get angle CDA plus BAD equals to 180 degree that is adjacent angles of parallelogram. Now we can place the values. So here we get Z plus this is in a two part that is 67 plus X equals to 180 degree. Now we can place the value of Z as 70 degree. So this will be 70 plus 67 plus X equals to 180 degree and here x will be equals to 180 degree minus the sum of these two that is 137. So here we get the value of x as 43 degree. Now we we'll go for the y and here we see that this angle is exterior angle of this triangle. So the sum of these two angles will be equals to y. Therefore y equals to z plus 67 as exterior angle property of triangle. So here we get the value of z as 70 plus 67 that is equals to 137. 
as answer. Now we are moving to question number three. Here in this question we have the two adjacent sides of the parallelogram in the ratio of five is to seven. If the perimeter of the parallelogram is seventy two, find the length of its sides. Now in this question, let the two adjacent sides be five x and seven x respectively, and the perimeter has been given as seventy two centimeter. As we know, in parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, so we can assume these two sides as five x. And these two one is seven x each. Now, as we know, the sum of all the sides is a perimeter. So we are having twice of seven x and twice of five x. So according to question, this will be twice of seven x plus five x equals to seventy two. So two into seven plus five that is twelve x equals to seventy two. So x will be equals to seventy two upon two into twelve that is twenty four. So we can cancel it out to get three. So x equals to Three. Now we can place the value of x to get the sides. So sides are AB equals to CD equals to seven x equals to seven into three that is twenty one, and AD equals to BC equals to five x equals to five into three equals to fifteen centimeter as answer. And let's do question number four. Here in this question we have the measure of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio of four is to five. Now we have to find the measure of each angles of a parallelogram. Now here in this question, let the adjacent angles be four x and five x respectively. So if we take this one as a parallelogram, so this will be your four x, and here this will be your five x as the adjacent angles of parallelogram. Now the sum of adjacent angles of parallelogram is one eighty degree. Therefore, angle A plus angle B equals to one eighty degree as adjacent angles of parallelogram. Now we can place the value of A and B, so it will be four x plus five x equals to one eighty degree. And here nine x equals to one eighty degree. So x will be equal to twenty degree. Now we can place the value of x to get the value of a and b. And here we get the value of a as four x that is equal to four into twenty and it will be eighty degree. And b equals to five x that is equal to five into twenty that will be hundred degree. Now the value of c and d can be calculated with the help of these two only. As c is opposite angle of a and d is opposite angle of b. And here we get the value of angle c equals to angle a as opposite angle of parallelograms. That is equals to 80 degree. Similarly, D equals to angle B as opposite angle of parallelogram. That is equals to 100 degree as answer. Now here in question number five, we have to just check whether the given condition is satisfying for being a parallelogram or not. So very first one is saying sum of angle A and C is 180 degree. So yes, it may be possible, but it also needs that its opposite angles of a parallelogram are also equal. If they are not equal. Then it will not be a parallelogram. So it can be, but need not be. In the second part, it's saying that AD equals to BC equals to six centimeter, but AB equals to five and DC equals to four point five. So no, it can't be a parallelogram because opposite sides are not equal. Then we have angle B equals to eighty and angle D equals to seventy degree. Again, this is not possible because opposite angles are not equal. Then the last one we are having B and C. The sum of angle B and C is. 180 degree. It can be possible, but it's not needed because opposite angles should also be equal for the parallelogram. That's all for this video. Thank you.